alaikum brothers and sisters I hope you guys are all well and blessed Allahumma la ilaha illa ant la ilaha Okay we will be watching um well I will be reacting to uh the speech that Muhammad Hijab made with the uh, China who's trying trying to start war with Islam and you know uh, our thing our and our religion and muslims now uh muhammad hijab i've been subscribed to him for a very long time i've been watching his videos and i i obviously like obviously i'm I'm trying to say that you guys should watch it as well he he is a very strong man he's made many people scared by speaking speeches to islam and honestly it's just, i'm really i'm really admire muhammad hijab um, I'm gonna be reacting to his, uh, obviously his new video here. Uh, it's actually uh, my mom said it's really good. So, well, not my mom. Uh, one of my friends said they were really good. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how I got that mixed up. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching me get react, uh, you know, react to this, and inshallah, you guys will have a happy reaction as well. So uh, let's just get started. Got everything set up here. Uh, I'm going to put uh, put the camera here. Well, it's technically my phone with my camera, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be playing it and I'm gonna play it right now. And uh, yeah, we're gonna let us see. Like China, whereby women are being raped. Okay, now, stuff Um, I pe the kid the um, kids who are watching this. We saw you had you had to see that. Please, if you don't want to listen anymore, just log out of this video because yeah um. Now that that's that is that is that is um that is a suffer Allah Um I, I don't know how to like wow that that's that that's that's that is I don't know that is that is it's too much honestly. Like Okay, I'm just gonna put the subtitles on so then if you guys Yeah Okay, let's just, uh. Children are being separated from their families. Organs are being harvested. People are being put into concentration camps. And did they think that we were just going to stand idly by? I want to tell the Chinese government and the Chinese Communist Party one thing. I want to tell you directly. You may be able to manipulate governments, but you cannot manipulate the millions of Muslims around the world. Did you think that you were going to have a minority group? in your country persecute them in the way that you are persecuting them deal with them in the way that you are dealing with them and that we were not going to get involved do you think that if you start war if you start a war with the Uyghurs that you have not started a war with the Muslims I tell the Chinese today with all vehemency and all vigor, 
You have started a war with the Muslims, and we will not live or die until we become victorious in this war. Allah Look at them now. Look at them looking at me. What are you looking at? My question is, what the hell are you looking at? You've oh taken your flag away. Well, I have a flag that you can replace your flag with. Wallahu Akbar. Take this week of flag, you son of a... I tell you today, you have nothing to offer the world. You have nothing at all to offer the world. Do you know why? Because you have already incorporated a Marxist communist system. You've already lost the war against the Americans. Look at this legend, alhamdulillah. Taken their ideology. But let me tell you something. Your best bet is actually to become Muslims. That's your best bet. Your best bet is to do what the Mongols did and embrace Islam. Takbir! You have nothing to offer the world. You have nothing to offer the world at all. What happens if you become a superpower? Tell me what happens when you become a superpower in this cold war that you want to get into with the Americans. What have you got to offer the rest of the world? You've already taken their ideologies. Marxism, Leninism, you are nothing. I tell you, you are nothing. And it's only nothing. a matter of time. It's mm. only a matter of time. Muhammad Hijab, he is the most, like, most respected Muslim man in our dunya and... Like I said, this guy, this man, he he can make you scared. Literally, he 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 is a strong man. He can make you scared in himself. All right, let's just continue. Of time until we deal with you. Don't we? Allahu Akbar. And I say this again, with all vehemence and all vigor, that you cannot beat and defeat an enemy. That when they look at the barrel, the bottom of the barrel of the gun. They see paradise. Allah Akbar. We don't care about death, in fact. We don't care about martyrdom. Please make us martyrs. You cannot beat us. We're the unbeatable enemy. We are. We are the unbeatable enemy. Allah Akbar. You should actually learn from the Uyghurs. You should actually learn from them the purpose of life to worship one God. You should learn from them not to worship statues. And I tell you today that you may be taken off La ilaha illallah from the tops of the masjids and replacing it with your communist flag, the flag of your ideological masters. But taking it off the masjid does not mean taking it out of the heart of the believers. That is true. That is true. So I tell you once and again, it's only a matter of time and you may want to start this cold war with america which you're starting now having the muslims as your enemies is not a good idea it's not and a good history, idea as it had in the past with the persians and the romans and the mongols and all of these history will tell this story again and you will be defeated under Alhamdulillah, oh my Allah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, sorry guys. There you go. The speech given by Muhammad Hijab himself. Now guys, I don't wanna I don't know how to tell you that this man he's he is the man of our deen, basically. He he made this speech 
Muhammad uh, Ali Dua, uh, Dawa, he, he did this as well. I haven't watched that yet, but I guess this is the first ever one I've watched. Now, honestly, that is something that is really extraordinary for us Muslims. And this man, he will, he will lead us. He will lead us to something massive, something grateful, alhamdulillah, inshallah, he will. But this is where we part, guys. This is where I leave and... We always, we all, you know, we, 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 we think about what he said. Because what he said is something amazing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Muhammad hijab, his strength of speech. Yeah, I know there was something bad, a bad word was said. And that, I am really sorry for the kids who were watching this. And even myself, I'm actually shocked about what they did. But yeah. Assalamu alaikum, guys. I'll see you next time. Allahumma inni asalu